Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when working with file operations in Windows. Our viewer is experiencing random exceptions while using the sh file operation function to delete directories across multiple threads. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The exceptions you're encountering when using esh file operation to delete directories may be related to threading issues. When multiple threads attempt to delete directories simultaneously, it can lead to race conditions. The first exception indicates an invalid handle was specified. This could happen if the directory is already being accessed or modified by another thread at the time of deletion. The second exception is an access violation, which suggests that the code is trying to read from a null or invalid memory location. This can occur if the pointer to the directory path is not valid or has been corrupted. To mitigate these issues, consider implementing synchronization mechanisms, such as mutexes or critical sections, to ensure that only one thread accesses the sh file operation function at a time. Lastly, ensure that the pwester path variable is correctly initialized and that it contains a valid directory path with a double null terminator. This is crucial for the sh file operation function to work properly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with SH file operation raising exceptions when deleting files may not be due to Windows itself, but rather a third-party product called dragx64.dll. This DLL implements a copy hook handler. To resolve this, consider uninstalling dragxt64.dll or disabling it via the registry. You can find the relevant registry key under hkey classes root. After making these changes, test again to see if the exceptions disappear. Additionally, other shell extensions may have bugs, so searching for shell32 call file copy hooks could provide more insights. Notably, bugs in the implementation of the iCopyHook copy callback method may also contribute to these issues. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.